this tutorial we will make the sub bolt by cube so add a cube and then subdivide it increase its level and then add a cast modifier and change it to sphere and then apply that subdivision surface modifier and then cast modifier also now you will get the core base sphere then delete the bottom words and now you will get the dome shape then decrease its size along the z-axis then take a knife tool and create a cut like this we can uh, cl click and then press z and then click on the second point and then click to the next point and then press enter to use the knife tool then take the symmetrize you need to choose the proper axis for symmetrize option so like this and here we need to take one more time the symmetrize so select your mesh and then take the symmetrize like this so now you can select this edge and then make it straight along the z-axis then you can select the faces and delete these faces now that's look pretty well then select these words and then connect the vertex path select these words and then connect vertex path and now you can take the symmetry option so choose the proper axis for the symmetry and now you can select this edges and right click and then reach edge loop like this then you need to add loop cuts so start to add the loop cuts like this and then you can connect this you can fill these gaps so now to select this edges and then press F to fill the gap now we will take the symmetry so take the symmetrize mesh and then symmetrize to the proper axis so select your whole mesh and then take the symmetrize now you can see now select these faces and we will add the insert operation here which will create the simple loop around the cut which will help to maintain the shape of the geometry so select these faces like this and then insert it just give the proper offset amount thickness amount for the insert operation and now that's look pretty well then you can add one loop cut here which will tighten the geometry and then add loop cuts like this you may say that it will uh, deform the circular shape of the bolts so then just you need to move these edges so select this edge and then double tap G to edge slide. Select this edge and double tap G and take the symmetry option. Mesh and then symmetrize and choose the right axis. And now you can see that's look pretty well. Then shear smooth it and then add a subjoint surface modifier. And now that's look pretty well. You can see. You can. Uh, Connect that bottom face or face. You can press F or create the to go topology at the bottom. Now we will duplicate it and now we will create the its next version. And this one is looks pretty well. So now we will create the next version like this. So just hide over that one. And now just you need to go to the edit mode. Make sure it should be at the center of the 3D cursor. Then you need to select the faces. So select these faces like this and then delete them. Now you need to select these faces by using the cross selection. Make sure your extra mode should be on so you can select one at a time. And now shift D to duplicate and then rotate it into the 90 degree. And now you need to select everything and press M and merge by distance. And that should look pretty well. Select these faces and then delete them. We don't need these faces. So just delete these faces Ok so you can see we have deleted and these faces are also overlapped so just delete these faces also 
and now you can see we got this kind of geometry which is pretty good now select this edge and then select this edge shift control you can use for that and then bridge edge loop now you need to add the loop cuts so we will just fill these gaps on the one side and we will take the symmetry so just add a loop cuts and then fill the gaps like this press f for that and now that's look pretty well now you need to select this edge and then you need to extrude it so just extrude these edges like this and then select this words and then connect word uh, sorry merge at the center now select this word and then you need to move them along the y axis just to maintain the shape so just move them you can use the x remover for that okay that look pretty well now you can select this edge and then press f and then f for this now you need to add the loop cuts so just add the loop cuts like this and then you can select this edges and then press f so here also you need to add one loop cut so just add a loop cuts and then connect these and merge these words at the center and then select this edge and then press f f f it's very easy then select everything and use the symmetrize option select everything one more time and use the symmetrize option and choose the proper axis is totally depend on your geometry on your shape and your orientation now you can see it's look pretty well decent now just you need to select this edge and then press f make sure you should have the same geometry at the bottom side otherwise the uh, at the back side otherwise something like this will happen so you can see here we need to add one loop cut so just add a loop cut like this and then you can press f to fill the gap but make sure you should be in the edge mode then add loop cut like this and then press f and that looks pretty well decent decent kind of geometry we have created here and we have created the bolt easily which looks pretty well thanks for watching if you like this tutorial then hit that like button and subscribe my youtube channel bye bye see you in the next video take care